There are two ways to perform the uh, lower eyelid surgery, depending on what the anatomical problem is. If you have mainly a puffy eyelid without excess skin, I would go through the transconjunctival approach from inside the eyelid without an external scar and basically visualize the fat pads, medial, middle, and lateral, and reduce it either with cautery or with a laser. So there's no external scar. If there is puffy eyelids with redundant skin, the redundant skin needs to be removed. So I would make an incision right where the lash line is and use that incision to pinch some excess skin and remove a little bit of excess skin. And I close that right where the, uh, the uh, lash line. And that usually heals very, very well. It's pretty invisible within two weeks. Um, now, if there is wrinkled skin and there isn't redundant skin, I would not advise removing extra skin. I would advise using the laser with removal of the fat pads from inside the eyelid. So if there is that thin wrinkled skin that's not necessarily redundant, I would laser that with the fractionated CO2 laser at the same time as removing the fat pockets from the transconjunctival approach from the inside. So the lower eyes can be either removal of the fat pockets, removal of fat pockets plus extra skin, or removal of fat pockets and lasering wrinkled skin, that thin wrinkled skin. Three different possibilities in the lower eye.